Yo, what is up, all you out there? The name is Second Heat. Now with the new design of my GTR with the Rocket Bunny body kit with, I guess it's like a brownish. It's not gold, but it's kind of like a brownish color. I don't know. I decided to give my GTR a new look, and I decided to go with this. It's nice and clean, and I honestly don't ever go with a brown look before. So I dig it it's it's just something different to me i was planning on going for a gold but then i decided you know let's just stick with this see how this rolls and as of now i like it so what we're gonna do is do the next prestige episode i can't remember what it's called <clears throat> but hopefully it does not take us forever to get it done so torque of the town let's get it done this looks like it's going to be taken in the very close quarters mountains it's going to be pretty interesting for me <clears throat> i actually wonder if we're going to be having this i wonder if we're actually going to be having business or pleasure which for those guys that do not know is in my opinion one of the hardest races in the game it's actually on this track too not track but it's in this area business or pleasure is one of the hardest events I've I still have to do. Okay, so he was just telling us that we're halfway. But yeah, business or pleasure is actually the hardest event I have to do. And that's only and that's with my maxed out car in regular hard mode. Not even in prestige. I'm not sure if it's in prestige, but still trying to do it to this day it is such a challenge you guys have probably seen me do multiple episodes where i've just tested out cars in business or pleasure oh my gosh i almost ran into him that would be so bad but yeah oh my gosh no i'm just gonna restart because that was some bs that's the one thing that i really wish is that need for speed when you guys make your next game when someone's in a race, let that be in a different area. Like, don't. That could have ended so badly for him. So I'm in. Oh, he did crash. But please, don't let our races still interact with people not in the race because, like this, I have to stay out of the way for them. Just let them all pass because I don't want our races to intersect. And what are you doing? Just going so slow. I don't want our races to inter to interact with each other and us possibly screwing up each other. I don't like that. But I guess it's cool that it's just like, A, I'm not the only one here. But at the same time, though, it's like, I don't exactly want you disturbing my race and potentially screwing me up like what happened there. I don't want that. So hopefully in Need Speed 2017, which was announced, I hope they they deal with that because I'm pretty sure I know a lot of people actually had a problem with that always online feature. So maybe they might actually get rid of it or at least try to make some adjustments to it, make some exceptions. Like you're always online, but when you're racing, then we're going to take it off. And holy crap, please stop swerving around. Thank you. But they might take it off when you're actually in a race. If they do that, I'll honestly be, be pretty happy. I'm okay with having an always online server, even though I know people don't like it. I'm okay with it, to be honest. It's whatever to me. But please, if I'm gonna be in a race, don't keep me in that always online server. Take me to like its private server, I guess you can say. And that's another thing. Have, we should have private lobbies. I'm not sure if you can get into it, but there should be private lobbies in the game. That would be so awesome for big, for like those big YouTubers who always try to do uh, open lobbies. That would be great to do. Just have different lobbies and make them bigger lobbies too. I don't want, well, I have no problem with these eight men because we have so many AI characters. But it would be so cool if you could just get into a lobby of like 32 or 64 racers. That would be so awesome. That would make the interaction, the player interaction so much better than just having like 8. Because a lot of times you'll get into lobbies with people and 
never interact with them whatsoever never get into a race with them whatsoever it's just like meh but with 32 or 64 players you have like a likelier chance that's the thing that i'm really going for is i want a likelier chance and holy crap i wasn't even close to beating this time i just looked i'm supposed to be two minutes and two seconds i went two minutes and 16 oh that's not good that's not good at all i was sliding a lot i'm not sure if that was the problem but whoa that was just terrible time for me to actually get serious jeez why why are these prestige times so freaking difficult man i'm not looking forward to these and the other events like the only ones that i'm confident in is the drift but seeing as how challenging these are i have a feeling i might struggle in drifting too and if i do oh my gosh bro that's insane because again i i think of myself as a pretty good drifter and if prestige is to the point where i'm going to be struggling to get bronze in drifting events holy crap not looking forward to it at the same time i am looking forward to it because i do want to see challenge but at the same time though i don't it's it's just it's just such a struggle when things are impossible like it's not impossible impossible like you can definitely beat these races but it's like nyaka are you serious why is it, it's like um i know this might be like a bad comparison but think of like dark souls of how it's like a uh they call it a masochist where you're gonna constantly die and die and die having to constantly do over so many missions or events or whatever they do it's kind of like that right now that's what i can compare prestige to it's prestige is pretty much the masochist of racing games it's brutal you will rage you will hate yourself so much especially because it's like and i heard this i heard this nice explanation of why people play it so much even though they get so frustrated because it turns to a point where it's just like i know why i messed up like it wasn't because it's so hard it's because I screwed up. It's because I didn't do this thing right. I didn't time something right. And that's kind of what prestige mode feels like. Like you can see in all of my races, it's not. Whoa, my car just um seriously gripped up there. I thought I was gonna crash out. That pissed me off. But it's kind of one of those things where it's just like I just need to get better lines. I need to get the right gearing, especially since you're using manual. It's it's just you need to be a perfect racer and i just failed again but that's the thing it turns from it's extremely hard to i just need to get good i just need to get good at the game and that's what pisses you off because it's just like i'm not good enough and i hate that i hate that feeling of you're not good enough and actually, I wonder, since this thing is like so close, since these corners are so tight, what if I probably use a different car for this? Yes, my GTR can still be great for this race, but my GTR is really good for high speed runs. What if I use something that's good for close? I'm trying to think of a car I have for it. Um, maybe you could give a go at it with the Civic? I know that's a stupid thing to say, but hear me out. The Civic is actually not a bad car. The Civic is actually pretty fast. Yes, it is front wheel drive and that will be a little complicated in turns, but for the most part, it's not that bad. It's actually really, it's actually a really fun car to drive around. I do have a Subaru, which is also really great to race around and an Evo, which I finally decided to go on and max out in tune because i'm not sure what black panther is planning on doing with his race cars it's been quite a while so i decided to bump it um just max it out give it the race grip tune i want and just have at it maybe i could probably do some runs with that in prestige maybe that might be better we don't wow this is what i'm saying this is what i'm talking about 
with all these races just interacting with me in my own race i don't want this i don't i really don't i love hugo's games you guys did such a great job with need for speed but there's just some things that just really can just really take me off especially with prestige of how i need to be perfect in every turn everything i do needs to be perfect and i know this is not a perfect run and i will not win this event in this car but please lessen the chances of things to screw me over as i just lose again so let me do one more let me do one more chance and switch over to another car i really do want to beat prestige in my zilla because i love my zilla but i'm not sure if i can actually win great work brother you're halfway through spikes events so i really gotta be focused on my manual because that's another big thing it's just the gears the gears you need to be like very precise because you're going to be constantly upshifting, downshifting. And the thing that I realized in my previous episode that I raged in, the reason why I was like 0.56 seconds away was because I... Um... So, Zilla's going to give it a little bunny hop, I guess? That was weird. Um, anyways... As I was saying, the thing that I realized after constantly watching over that last race was that I, w I stayed in third gear. At that final point, I stayed in third gear, one, because I wasn't paying, I just wasn't paying attention at all. I wasn't paying attention to what gear I was in, so I was just going, but like I thought I, thought I would have won it. I thought I would have won it, but because i was stuck in third gear my car didn't go any faster even though there was just that little bit of stretch i just didn't go faster and it was because i was stuck in third gear and that's the thing that really that i really love about manual and at the same time i get annoyed with is that you need to stay really focused on your gears if not you can really screw up and something like if i was in an automatic oh i would have won that event i would have definitely succeeded but because i wasn't paying attention i failed and that really frustrated me and it was just like 0. 0.56 seconds and right now i'm screwing up so much i can't stand it i'm most like i really don't want to do an episode where i can't finish the race but if it's going to take this long Either I'm gonna cut it and just give you guys the actual winning race, winning run, or uh, I might just have to make this uh, episode fail. But I don't want to make it. I don't want to show that I'm a failure. I can't, man. Here we go. Is that other race? Please squeeze. God. I don't know why I keep on wearing my jacket in the house. That is such a stupid thing to do. This is frustrating.